So your stream is a ghost town. Here's how to bring it back to life. Hi, I'm Ifat, your G Plus go to gal and today I'm going to show you how to search and find your target market on Google+. So you decided to check out Google+, and give it a shot. You post on it daily, you share articles from your blog, you have more than a handful of people following you, but nothing really happens. No comments, no shares, maybe one or two plus ones. A week later, you give up and conclude that Google Plus is a ghost town. All your friends are on Facebook anyway. You already post daily on Twitter and you've learned to make connections on LinkedIn. Even Pinterest gives you some traction. So why bother with just another social media website, right? So here's the thing. Google Plus is not another social media website. And the culture there is completely different. See, what Google has managed to do is duplicate your real-life interaction and create them online rather than simply interact with people you already know online. Picture this. In real life, you have your circle of friends, your circle of co-workers, your family circle, your circle of acquaintances. And if you spend a night in town with your friends, your co-workers will never know about this because they're not in the same circle. Now, when one of your acquaintances invites you to a party, you don't walk to the room handing people business cards, shake their hand and say, hey, buy my product, as you move on to the next person, right? But that's what you do on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media websites. You promote yourself, you share your own articles, and you make sure you tweet at least once a day. So now you come to Google+, doing the same thing, and you're shocked that it doesn't work. Well, that's the good news. Because really, no one likes being marketed to. Neither do you. But we all want to engage with people who share our passion who can enrich our lives, and that we have something in common with. And that's Google+. Someone said that Facebook is for people you already know, Twitter is for people you don't know, and Google+, is for people you should know. So today I'm going to share just a few things to help you bring your ghost town back to life. I'll show you three ways to search for people who share your passion. I'll show you how to search using hashtags. I'll show you how to search for professions. And then I'll show you how to engage, and finally, how to get someone to notice and love you right away. Let's dive in. Let's start searching for people who share our passion. You can do this in two ways. First one is search for your keywords. Google Plus has a built-in search engine. You can come in here and just type your keywords. Mine will be Google Plus. And then see all the posts that are about that subject. The first thing that you need to do is comment on the post. I just found a post from Clayton that talks about a Google Plus local bug. This is something I'm interested in. I'll have to check it out. So comment first. That's the engagement part. And then circle these people. I'll go to Clayton's profile and I'll see if everything that he's talking about is Google Plus related. And if it is, I will put him in my Google Plus circle. So keyword search is one way of finding people that share our passion. The second one is searching for shared circles. People really enjoy sharing their own circles publicly. So for example, I can look for a food shared circle on Google Plus and just scroll through the post. And right there I have 72 people who care about food, beer, and wine. And as you can see, this just keeps popping up. Now I have 74 <laughs> people who care about food, Food Friday. So what I can do is I can click on the shared circle. I can give it a name, Food Friday, and I can just create a Food Friday circle. And now I have one circle of people who are passionate about food and I can start interacting with their posts. Now here's a trick of how to piggyback on the success of others. Find leaders in your industry. If I am looking for food, for example, I can filter by people and pages. Jamie Oliver is one of them. So I can go to Jamie's Oliver profile and I can see all the people who are interacting with him in his post, in the comments. I can see what they're passionate about and I can circle them right from there. I can add them to circles. So I know Jamie Oliver cares about food. I know the people who are following him care about what he cares about, which is food. I can see in the comments whether or not they love what you're doing, like this guy really enjoys the chef. And I can just mouse over the person's name and add him to my circles. This one is already in my circles. <laughs> so 
Right now we learned how to find people who share your passion by searching for your keywords, by searching for shared circles, and by piggybacking on other people who already build an entire community around their personal brand. Look for your influencers in your industry. Now let's talk about how to search for people with hashtags. Google Plus is using the same hashtag system as Twitter, so if you're coming from Twitter, this will be easy breezy for you. So when you, we search for anything on Google+, let's say food again, Google provides us a list with all the trending hashtags on Google. If any one of them is uh, in our industry, is something that we're passionate about, for example, coffee, we can click on this one, on the hashtag, and now we can see all the posts that are discussing coffee. Not sure why Avengers is one of them. But then again, you can uh, find the people, the posts that are interesting to you. This one, for example, pocket binaries, talking a lot about, seem to have enough posts about coffee. You can click on them, see exactly what they're talking about, and follow them. You can also follow the people who are interacting with them on the same topic. You can also start typing your own keywords with a hashtag and see if the tags exist. So for example, Hangouts is a hashtag. And if you type that, you can start seeing all the posts that are talking about Hangouts, like mine right here. So you can start following them and interacting with them. So you can find the community that discusses this specific topic. You will see who are the people that post the most on the topic and you, begin, you can begin engaging with them. Here is how to search for professions. This is the easiest one. You simply go to my profile, click on my About tab, scroll down to the link that says, here's how to find people to follow. Click on this link. It will open a new document for you and you can see all the categories, all the professions right here. Just pick the one that you want and click on the circle link it will take you to the page with the circle itself and the same way we found shared circles we can just click on view shared circle give it a name and add it to our circles and now we have 94 people who are designers and we can start following them interacting with them and engaging with them and finally here's how to engage like I said at the beginning, Google Plus has perfectly modeled our real life. So if you know how to engage in real life, this also will be easy breezy for you. There are four levels of engagement. Plus one says you agree with what they said, you agree with the post, you give them your vote of confidence, but you have nothing to add. Comment means that they moved you to speak and you just have to tell them how. Sharing means that they rock your world and you just have to share the love with everyone in your own circles or specific circles. And joining the Hangout says, you're the best, I just wanna hang out with you face to face. So as you can see, the best compliment you can give someone is by sharing the content. And of course, adding your two cents onto it. You don't have to agree, just don't be mean. But the best level of engagement happens on Hangouts. So don't be shy and join some. I am known as one of the best first time Hangouts experiences out there. So don't be shy and join mine. And lastly, here's how to get someone to notice and love you right away. Praise them in public. So when you share their post, tell the world that you like the post and what made you share it and mention the originator's name. So for example, Martin just wrote a post about the psychology of engagements on Google+, which is so funny and timing for me creating this video. Um, so I share the post and I told Martin that I, would love, that I really love engaging with him. And as you can see, he comes in and says, catch you soon and thank you for the share. When you share someone's post and you mention them, they'll get a notification that you've mentioned them and that you said something about them and they'll come back and see what you've said. If you said something nice, they might even follow you back. And now be honest when you share something. We all react the same to fake compliments. Lastly, before we finish this video, let's talk about etiquette. If you found a post through someone else, it's just a nice gesture to mention that person you found it through by typing via and the person's name, mentioning them. It will win you more friends and it's a simply just a nice thing to do. 
So right here, I found Martin's post through Laurie, and so I gave her a shout out saying I found it through her. So here's what we learned today. We talked about three ways to search for people who share your passion, keywords, shared circles, and piggybacking. We talked about searching using hashtags, how to search for professions, how to engage, and finally, how to get someone to notice and love you right away. This is Ifat, your G Plus go-to gal, and I'm looking forward to engaging with you on my stream and in my hangouts.